And the other thing is the key word and you'll be happy about it. You're gonna do this and you'll be happy. That's a pretty big caveat because what if your biggest fear should be that someone's gonna play you like a puppet and that part of what gets them off is that you don't like it. Wait, it's not weird. The Matrix isn't done yet because they still are enjoying their lives. I don't feel I can't drink baby blood in peace until I know that they oh, hate God. until I know that they hate their lives. But they like, you know. Welcome, modern day mystics, fellow true seekers, James and Justin here again, your favorite spiritual analysts on all things culturally relevant, helping you better connect with this divine, yet somewhat peculiar reality we all find ourselves in. Well, part of understanding this reality is taking a close look at world issues and what's actually going on. And it so happens that this week is the World Economic Forum in Davos. Uh-oh. All the elites getting together to manipulate <laughs> the world <laughs> and, 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 and uh, steer us in the direction that they think we all need to go. Mm. Uh, they know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to take a look at this small clip of this weird conspiracy theory that they say is a conspiracy theory that we're all getting worked up about we shouldn't worry about don't look at it maybe but we should maybe we shouldn't maybe we should maybe we should let's take a look at it and then we'll talk about it and we can discuss whether or not we should be worried yeah let's <laughs> talk about it. let's talk after we don't talk about it some of the world's wealthiest figures are currently in the Swiss town of Davos for the World Economic Forum's meeting that started yesterday. Many online commentators have claimed that the event involves a group of elites manipulating global events for their own gain. According to AP, experts say what was once a conspiracy theory found throughout the Internet's underground has now hit the mainstream. The theme of the meeting in 2020 was called the Great Reset, which envisioned how changes could be implemented to build a more sustainable future. This theme has been referenced by many well-known names, including Fox News' Tucker Carlson and Sandy Hook denier Alex Jones, who largely view the plan as an elite conspiracy to consolidate world power and implement control over society. But Twitter Files journalist Michael Schellenberger tweeted yesterday, spokespersons for the World Economic Forum say the Great Reset, eating insects instead of meat, and you'll own nothing and be happy, are conspiracy theories, but they're not. In fact, all of them originated at Davos and from the World Economic Forum's own website. Now, uh, WEF is deleting those, of course. This article that was reportedly on the website in 2016 has, has, has since been deleted, says, Welcome to 2030. I own nothing, have no privacy, and life has never been better. Uh, I wanted to talk about this because, so, th so this is getting the kind of mainstream media spin of, oh, look at all these people criticizing Davos and the World Economic Forum, they're spreading misinformation and conspiracy mm -hmm. theories. If you're upset about this, you are yourself a conspiracy theorist. It all, it's all just conspiracies. And yes, if you get into the granular details, are some people saying things about the World Economic Forum, they're not representing its views correctly. I mean, it doesn't even have views. It is a gathering of heads of state and business leaders and, and influential people from all over the world who have a variety of different, different agendas and don't internally agree. So it's, there's not one agenda they're putting forth. Mm -hmm. But some of the things they talk about uh, in terms of environmentalism, in terms of uh, sur state surveillance, state capacity, um, uh, the, the, the kinds of governments run by these very people, uh, what they'll be able to do to you, uh, the kind of social credit score system, tracking, uh, you know, kind of nudging. It's for your health. It's for your own good. It's mm -hmm. a very kind of soft... Uh, dystopian progressive. Look, it's not, it, and so, again, I, as I said last time we talked about this, some of these ideas might be fine, but it is also fine to be critical of it, to not like that you're not invited, that it's a secret meeting, semi-secret meeting of elites, and you might not like all these policies. Maybe they'll involve outsourcing, and, and, and maybe they're too deferential to China's new hegemony, all that stuff. That is fine. It is not a conspiracy theory to object to that. Uh, but before we get into that, we do want to discuss more about what's going on at Davos. Just like us at Rising, Elon Musk is having all sorts of fun with the elite gathering for the World Economic Forum. He tweeted this poll. Should the World Economic Forum control the world with about 2 million votes in, 86% yes. no. said no. no. <laughs> Roughly 14% said yes no, there's always there's always going to be trolls on twitter trolls stay trolling mm -hmm. <laughs> this was this was shortly before the tesla ceo blasted trolls the forum as quote 
and it's increasingly becoming an elected, an elected world government that the people never asked for and don't want. Right. It, it's not. It's. I mean, the, some of the people there are elected on behalf of their own sure. governments, but they're not elected to run everything else. Yeah, Kirsten Cinema is there, high fiving Joe Manchin. It's a big party. Yeah. You're just. Oh, you must have been invited. delighted to see that. It was the highlight of my week. Do we so, need to worry about the World Economic Forum? <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of things. Uh, remember what he said, like, um, and you're not invited. I don't know about that. Uh, you're not invited, bruh. There's already plenty of things you're not invited to. <laughs> I'm not invited to a doctor's uh, yeah. what, what, gala or whatever. Like, c clearly, there's many things you shouldn't be invited to. Yeah. But I see what he's saying. They're nervous or whatever, right? And the other thing is... The key word, and you'll be happy about it. You're going to do this, and you'll be happy. That's a pretty big caveat. Because what if your biggest fear should be that someone's going to play you like a puppet, and that part of what gets them off is that you don't like it. Wait, it's not weird. The Matrix isn't done yet, because they still are enjoying their lives. I don't feel... I can't drink baby blood in peace until I know that they oh, hate... God. Until I know that they hate their lives. But they, like, you know, like, which is... Which is, should, that's the only thing that should scare you. If you're happy about whatever it is that they're doing to you, that's already the case. Almost everything you do in your life is freaking nonsense. Somebody else's idea, the job you have, the type of lifestyle you live, people think that it's their idea. It ain't. It, yeah. We are in a matrix, but it's not like a matrix for no reason. You know? I think if that was the case, that it was going to suck and, you know, was not worth it, the, yeah. the mass was probably more of us than them. We would revolt, right? Yeah. Am I open to the idea that they're doing mind control and all stuff? Yeah, I am. Because MKUltra was a real thing. I, I'm open to the idea that it's like a, they're, they're manipulating the world. Yeah. I'm open to that. But the thing, stupidly, out of all this that gives me hope is I'm going to be happy? Great! <laughs> I'm not happy now. You know, if, if, if eating crickets is going to make me happy, then bring on the crickets. I'll get my bib. <laughs> you know, but I, but some people, they don't think that way. They're like, no, man. Like, you, you know, and, and I get that too. The truth is the truth. And, and if, I, if I really had to choose like red pill or blue pill, one wakes you up out of the matrix, one keeps you asleep, I'd choose the truth pill, right? But, uh, you know, at least part of their thing is you're going to be happy there. Yeah. <laughs> At least that's what they're, they're hoping that's what they're saying in order to get there. I don't know, man. Uh, it's just this, ever since the pandemic, this, these guys came onto the scene and it felt like uh, the Great Reset. You know, political leaders have talked about it. Provincial guys in our Canadian Parliament have talked about it. Strange, funny questions have come up inside. So, of our are we going to be living in squalor, like like parsing out crickets and looking at them, like on their yachts, like good, they can see us. <laughs> like, is that the version of it that we're thinking? Because everybody would be like, "Fuck that," you know. Like, I'm not living that way. They would just not do that. Yeah. But if you're going to be in some like version of it where you're genuinely happy, yeah. Like, at this point, I don't know why I'm stuck on it. At this point, <laughs> at this point, point, at this point, I'm not like terrified of the World Economic Forum because, like, if they're keeping this a secret, it's the worst kept secret on planet Earth. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> it, it, he, he literally, the guy who runs it, wrote a book called The Great Reset. Right. Done by Doctor Evil. Hashtag Klaus Schwab. Like, like it, it, it's so ridiculous. Um, I think actually, if anything, the he word... wrote a book called "You Will Believe My Lies." <laughs> I'm gonna lie to you, and you're gonna believe. So, it. so like I don't know. Maybe the the all, at best, it's to get you to pay attention, thinking this is what they want you to do. But really, they have something else in plan, completely different. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think it's worth keeping yourself up at night because people get lost in this wormhole. They're like they spend like their whole days on Facebook and retweeting and sending things on TikTok and things about the world. It's a never-ending stream of conspiracy theories. How like can they the guy... guarantee? How can they guarantee you'd be happy about it? <laughs> Think about it. Like it's so complicated. What about, being about that you'll own nothing and be happy about it? Well, the, just the caveat that you'll be happy about it. You know, being a human is so opposity and counterintuitive. Like it's almost like. Oftentimes, overcoming adversity is like will give you a deep sense of like meaning and happiness. Like, you know, you could give somebody everything they want. Like, 
there's studies on lottery winners and everything. Like, give them everything they want, they, they, they self-destruct. People don't even want things to be good, yet you have a shit week and you're like, everything's against me. I just want no more challenges, no more roadblocks, you know, depending on the person. Some yeah. people are tougher than others, right? Yeah. But it's not so easy to pinpoint what somebody would want because just our chemistry is like, if you go through great trials and stuff like that, sometimes that's the serotonin you needed. Like your brain's like, there you go, rewards. You know, it's not always just like, you know, dialed into some simulated reality. Yeah. How is that possible? How could you be? They're not going to be happy about it. And if not happy about it, they're going to, they're going to freak out everybody. Yeah. It, this could be totally not even worth thinking about. Uh, but everyone seems to have their eye on, uh, there's, there's so many people have their eye on this and they're like, Elon Musk is tweeting about it. Uh, he's a billionaire. He has interest. So there's like, he's poking that bear for a reason. Um, so what do you think? Is it, should you spend any time thinking about the world economic forum? Should you even give it a second thought? And are they, is the great reset a real thing? Do you think that that is what they're actually trying to do? Worst kept secret in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, I'm picturing some in my head saying, really your character is that shitty that that's all you can think about is how happy you'll be. Don't you stand for anything? It's like, yeah, but that ship has sailed, man. Like if you stood for some, like what kind of risks are you taking already to stand for what you believe in? You know, but are you stand up against the, the yeah. like, what are you going to like, are you re leading the next revolution against the world economic forum? Or right. What the hell? Like, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm got too much optimism. I'm too optimistic about humanity. I don't, I don't see too much crazy stuff coming from them. It's too out in the open. Uh, but anyway, let us know what you think. And thanks for joining us. We love having you on the show and listen to us rant and rave. Uh, but anyway, everybody, if you like the episode, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share with a friend, and everybody, until next time, stay spiritual.